viable na ulit laruin ang isang plot mm-hmm. and somehow may, eto ha what, what do you think about in, in terms of emblem dito babalik kaya dito yung, like veterans hunter na nauso noong mga nakaraang season or still gano, eto yung papasok dito yung uh, the killing spree na ang gamit na gamit talaga ngayon na assassin emblem is killing spree eh. pero mm-hmm. looks like the to, ang tanky ng ano no kung iisipin mo aside from brand esports that they have the uranus ang um, What do you think about these butters? If we could be doing a prediction dito, which draft are you favoring the most? Brand Esports, in a way, they have this 1-3-1 thing going on for them. I mean, both teams naman. Mm-hmm. Pero mas mataas lang yung emphasis kasi dito talaga kay Card, sino mabigyan siya ng gold. Mm, so, if you, think, if you think about it, yung Omega dito, they have the Ling. Si Ling din, kailangan din ma-funnel yan. But the thing about Ling is, Kaya niya kasi ano eh, kaya niya kasi kumuha ng pick up sa sarili niya eh. For Uh-oh. Claude kasi medyo kailangan mo pang ilatag sa kanya yung kill in the early stages mm. of the game. So, pacing wise, if makuha ng Omega ng mabilis dito yung lead against Brent Esports, uh, Omega has a better chance of winning actually. Mm. But if Brent Esports stops them from actually doing anything at ma, ma- sabi natin ma-funnel na lang nila dito o ma-accelerate nila yung farm ng Claude. Then that only means na medyo magkaka well not medyo pero mm-hmm. magkakaroon talaga ng problema dito yung Omega PH. Ah, yeah, I totally agree mm-hmm. with you. Pero uh, siguro ako if I'll be doing a uh, prediction dito, probably slight uh, I think probably slightly I'll do, uh, lean towards dito sa Bren Esports to the point kasi parang ano eh ang bilis nung minion uh, ng wave clear nila. They have the Chango uh, in if in case na yun nga yung pinag-usapan nating scaling heroes dito. Eh, pwedeng makapag-defend agad. Pero yun na mga kaibigan, this is the very first match ng ating week number two, Bren Esports, laban sa Omega. And uh, we're actually seeing uh, things here ha- happening onto the map. Kung papansinin mo, there's a 3v3 happening to the middle lane. Alam ng Omega na nasa kanila yung lamang dito, pero hindi sila magpapa... Hindi sila magpapa... Uh, takot dito sa side ng Bren Esports kasi alam nila kaya din nila. And look at the HP bars dito ng Bren Esports. Oo. Medyo sila yung naging biktima dito ng ginagawang aggression ng Omega. Grabe yung aggression nga talaga ng Omega. Look at the damage na binigay doon hit pero ang hinahabol ngayon dito, that's gonna be Haze, Habol, Coral, TC, Molten Sight to slow down. It's gonna first kill pero hindi pa sila kumihinto. Hit will be taken down as well by Flap TC. What a timing na pagdating doon ng Tamus. Holy moly, kakasimula pa lang natin oh, dito. Kakasimula pa lang natin dito. May two kills na papasok dito sa Bren Esports. And wow, Omega got punished. Got Rob. punished talaga. Kasi they almost had, to be honest, few doon from the initial damage na binigay nung Hilda. Pero not knowingly, yung ikot ni Flap TC, sobrang laki. Ayan, kung makikita natin dito to our Gillette Instant Replay, na first blood doon si Ace at as w- yung molten sights ni Flap PC eh, no? Yun yung talagang medyo burden sa side ng Omega that time. Alam mo, Rob, good na sana yun for the side of Omega eh, na napwersa nila umalis ng lane si Laribo, napwersa nila umalis ng lane si Flap. Nakapagbigay sila ng space. But ang hindi naging okay para sa kanila ay eh, nakakuha ng dalawang kill yung side dito ng Bren Esports. Yung isa pa doon napunta kay Carl. Totoo. Y- yun yung magiging parang mahirap. Lalo, sa ganitong sitwasyon kasi, lalo na't naunang nag, uh, nag-level 4, yung Tamos, talagang kayang-kaya niya ng i-zone out dito. Kung, kung may kita mo, kinat na doon nung Tamos sa, uh, sa top, nakatulong na naman siya. Nandito na naman sa gitna. Flap PC going in. Pasok sila dito. Cotter and has been popped out. Templates of Blade ni Haji. Ginamit na lang pantakas mga chong. And that's gonna be end of the skirmish. And 3-0. Lamang na lamang dito, Butters, ang Bren Esports. And enigmatic plays coming here from Bren Esports. You wouldn't really know kung saan sila manggagaling. It just so happens na laging meron tao dun sa mga gilid. And right now, Haji, hindi niya din alam kung saan nagagaling tong pressure na to. At gusto niya man, gusto niya man tumulong, pero the only thing he can throw out right now is the Tempest of Blades. Isang knock-up lang yan. And realize dito ng Bren Esports na ah, wala sila masyadong stun. Oo, totoo. Yun yun eh. Kung baga kaya silang pasok-pasukan. Yes, they do have here na mga parang single target poke. Even the damage from heat. Pero uh, ang nagiging burden talaga for the side, I guess, dito ng Omega is si Flap PC. Kung baga, well farm siya. Look at the damage doon. If you almost have HP doon, si GC At ang nag nga, isa pang problema, hindi na makaalis sa mid lane dito. Ang uh, hyper carry ngayon ng Omega. And as far as I know, ah, the thing about uh, Chang O kasi is... Yung bawat placement no ng first skill niya, kapag tumama talaga lahat sa iyo yun, masakit na masakit yun. Mm-hmm. And now, pa isa-isa kasi yun, and he got everything of 
those skills at Kenji dito nasa alanganin. Oo, nasipa siya doon at alanganin na nga dahil kailangan niya na dito umuwi doon sa may bandang gilid. Look at Flap TC going in. I, pero meron may counter kill naman na bawian na rin at last. Pero yung space na binibigay dito ni Flap TC for the whole brand eSports squad, sobrang hindi matatawaran pa rin butters. They get the turtle almost for free and almost then na nakuha nila doon yung orange buff ng Omega PH. And si Rebo dito, naparusahan siya ng onte pero dati still ay Reynos, hindi madaling i-take down yan. Totoo. Ito pa yung mahirap dyan, no, Butters. Kung baga, Flap TC, which is technically, dapat yun yung medyo mahihirapan in such lane na, kung baga, parang stalemate sila mm -hmm. dapat doon sa, sa lane na yun. Eh, siya yung nag-flourish uh, nag dito sa ating early game. Ngayon, hindi na nila ngayon mabantayan si Carl TC. It is something na ka uh, kailangan mo talagang, uh, ano, maging cautious talaga, bu buong Omega. And to be, uh, to add... To that, Rob, hindi na din nila mabigyan ng place to farm si Haji dito in any way. Mm -hmm. Lahat ng pwede pag-farma ni Haji, Haji dito, nakakaroon siya ng problema. Oo, yun ang problema. Dahil namatay na rin doon yung Hilda. Pero tumalon doon sa may bandang gitna, current TC, but the damage is not enough. Look at that low hindi mabigay yung damage dito ni Haze with that passive and flat PC oh, just oh murdering goodness. the back lanes of Omega Esports 3 4 oh, kill oh, nga oh. pa ang binigay that's flat PC the new kid on the black para sa brand Esports doing a lot of things para sa kanilang squad Omega they're really having a hard time just because of that reactive play na ginawa ng brand Esports oh, oh. dapat sa Omega okay yun eh Dapat sa Omega talaga nagkaroon ng ano yon pabor or advantage. But mm. the thing is, the double kill made it worth it for the side of Bren Esports. And from there, nagkaroon na sila ng problema. Hindi na nila alam ngayon mm. kung saan sila pipwesto. Map control is out of their hands. Hindi na talaga nila makontrol ang mapa dito. Dahil si Curl PC, hindi niya rin nga nakita nandun sa ilalim ng dabo. May sipa pang magagana. Pero habol dito, ang Bren Esports. Di pa sila uminto. And ito na, Butters. Unti-unti nang nauubos ang mga inhibitor turrets dito ng Omega. And look at Carl TC. How free of him na makapag-farm. Just taking the turtle on his own. Mm -hmm. Alam mo, men, yung nilalakyo nila ngayon, para sila nag-aamong as eh. Oo. Kung sino makita ng Brain Esports, diretso, imposter! Uh -oh. Imposter to! Si Paino! Imposter! Uh Oo. -oh. I-vote na agad to! Uh -oh. I-vote na uh -oh. agad to! Hindi ba galing magsinungaling? Uh -oh. Shout out kay Prof B, hindi mahuli. Oo, uh -oh. yun ang hindi ko talaga mahuli. <laughs> grabe, grabe yung tropa natin na yan, si Prof B. Pero yun na nga, ito, uh, pero kung speaking of nahuli, Kenji dito, mga kaibigan, nahuli na naman. Look at the blazing do it. The damage doon kay Loi, almost killing the support ng Omega Esport man this is already a uh, massacre talaga para sa side ng Omega tuloy-tuloy yung aggression the snowball effect dito ng Brain Esport sobrang hirap hindi alam ni Ribo yon but Ribo he did a great job kahit papaano mm. na na delay niya yung pag-uwi uh -oh. kahit papaano kahit hindi niya alam uh -oh. kahit hindi niya alam he wasn't aware of it but napigilan niya kahit onte yung pag-uwi dito ni Haji and Haji He's doing the right play. Naniniwala ako na yun yung mga bagay na dapat ginagawa mo sa mga ganito stage ng game. Uh -oh. Try to get a turret. Kasi kahit pa paano, get some, get some leverage. Hatake mo yung sarili mo pataas. Get some gold. Mm. Ah, Kung baga, ang ano dito ng Omega Esports is that uh, kailangan pag-reacte na lang natin. Oh ito. my God! Oh! The damage, butters! Paano, paano mo pahihintuin ang ganong klase ng damage dito ng Claude? Claude is back into the meta, mga kaibigan. And they're really strong at playing these kinds of heroes. Yun na nga, sobrang lakas. Pero to be honest, no, yung ginagawang ultimate dito ng Chango, talagang sobrang nakakapag, ano eh, uh, anxiety ang binibigay dito sa Omega. Kumbaga, ang sakit sobra ng damage ng Chango. All throughout lahat dito from the Beren Esports and well farm Tuloy-tuloy, blazing duet na naman. Tunti-unti nang napapanis or nawawalan ng mga buhay dito ang Omega Esports. This is a well-deserved win sa game number one if ever Bren Esports take this game. And it's looking that way, Rob. Mukhang sila na nga talaga makakuha dito. Two turrets down. It's not even Lord Face. Eight minutes into the game. Well, seven... Seven fifty-seven. Seven fifty-seven. Seven fifty-seven lang. Oh my God, that win. This, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the quickest win here on the MPL, but definitely that was mm. one for the books, mga kaibigan. What a uh, well... Uh, I mean, uh, out of words talaga ako how uh, Bren Esports made that win mm -hmm. on Omega Esports. But still, game number one pa lang to, uh, mga tol. 
it's only 